Hey guys and welcome back to our infinite flight video training series. My name is Mark and today we'll be going over on how to file a flight plan. Now one of the first things that you want to do uh, as soon as you spawn at a field is you want to go ahead and file your flight plan uh, before you push back or before you request a push back. Go ahead take a few moments and file your flight plan. Now, some of you may ask what is a flight plan? Uh, basically, it's what we do as pilots uh, to organize ourselves uh, and plan the route that we are going to use uh, from one airport to another. Now, before we get started on filing the flight plan, let's take a look at the map uh, and go over some of the symbols uh, that we'll be using to file our flight plan. So here are the symbols that you'll see when you turn on the map. Uh, the first two are going to be your airports. You have both uncontrolled field, which will be indicated in purple, and you have the controlled field, which will be indicated in blue. The difference is, is the uncontrolled field uh, does not ever have any ATC services available, so you will strictly use Unicom. For the controlled fields, uh, that's where you may or may not have ATC services. Uh, if there is no ATC service available, you will be using Unicom. If there is ATC available, it will be indicated in green uh, and you will dial in to the respective frequencies needed. Okay, so next you have the airport airspace, which are the blue circles. Also, you will have the fix and the waypoints that will be indicated by triangles. The VOR, which is the VHS Omnidirectional Radio Range. These are listed as NAVAID on the map. Uh, so these are what are used uh, in order to go from one point to another, uh, but it's what we use uh, for navigation along with the waypoints and the fixes as well as the airways that you see next, which is indicated by the white lines. Okay, so now that we understand what the symbols mean on the map, let's go ahead and get started with filing our flight plan. Uh, today we are going to file a flight plan that I use uh, pretty much on a regular basis. Uh, from San Diego all the way up to Los Angeles. Uh, there are different ways that you can file a flight plan. Uh, you can file direct, uh, which is basically clicking on the airport that you want to fly to. Hit the D with the uh, arrow through it and that will give you direct. You can also uh, use VORs with that flight plan. Uh, you can click on a VOR. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use Oceanside. Click on that direct and then click on Los Angeles and that'll give us a two point, uh, uh, two point flight plan. Uh, you can use multiple VORs. So again we'll go to Oceanside, then we'll go to Santa, and then we'll go up to Los Angeles. So let's go ahead and work on the flight plan that I normally do. Uh, I like to use real world procedures uh, when I file my flight plans. Uh, so today, like I said, we're spawned in San Diego. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, file uh, the flight plan in the route that I normally use, which I like to use a southbound uh, heading uh, to turn south of the field. Uh, that way I can remain clear of any inbound traffic uh, to San Diego. Uh, so no matter where you're at on the field, pick a waypoint or a fix uh, that is off the departure end of the runway. Uh, so I'm going to use PGY-85 as my first fix, and then that, that is a waypoint. Uh, and I'm also going to use uh, a couple of other ones here. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my first VOR. After my southbound turn uh, of San Diego, I'm going to turn off the terrain here so I can see the VOR nav aids a little bit better. All right, so from Paji, I'm going to go to Cano. right here. And then here from Cano, I'm going to go north uh, to Julian, which is another VOR. And this is our first airway from Cano to Julian. Now, if you remember, uh, there was some mountains in that area. So I'm going to turn the terrain on just to show you. Now we should be at cruising altitude at that point. So let's continue. From Julian, I'm going to go to Paradise, uh, which is the next VOR and airway that I'm going to be using. Uh, from there, I'm going to go ahead and start my turn into Los Angeles using my next waypoint, which would be Jugly. 
Now what I like to do is go ahead and use one of the first uh, fixes or waypoints that are in line with the localizer that I'm going to be using today. Uh, is going to be for runway 25 right. Uh, then I will go ahead and click uh, the fix and waypoint that is at the uh, approach end of the runway. And then from there I will click on the airport. The reason I like to do that uh, to the approach end of the runway uh, the threshold is in case it's really low visibility and approach frequency is not available, then uh, that will just give me a direct route onto the runway. Uh, and then you have to click the airport because nobody flies to a final destination of a waypoint or a fix. Your final destination is going to be an airport. So uh, that's basically how you file a flight plan. It's extremely simple once you understand all of the uh, all of the symbols once I get all that done then I go ahead and declutter the map I turn off all of the uncontrolled fields I turn off the additional waypoints uh, I turn off the additional airways just because I like to have uh, a little bit cleaner map and this is what it's going to look like for the full route for the flight plan today guys I really appreciate you taking a few moments uh, to watch this video I hope it helps you to understand what the symbols mean, uh, what a flight plan is, and why it's important to file a flight plan. As always, if you have any questions uh, or comments, feel free to leave them below or you can message me on Facebook or on the forum. Also, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for more great tutorials. Uh, make sure that you also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Again, this is Mark. Thanks for watching.